Gage Pramar here, CrushBackPain.com. Today we're going to talk about how to position your seat in your car if sitting makes your pain worse. Oftentimes people wake up, they get ready, then they get in their car and they drive to work. If you have a 20-30 minute commute and you have more lower back pain when you get to work, then this video is for you. When you sit in a seat for a prolonged period, if you have excessive lumbar flexion that puts too much compression through the disc, too much force through the disc, and that oftentimes results in pain. What you can do is set your seat up in a better position so you have less compression through the disc, less lumbar spine flexion. So you can see how this seat's positioned here. Look at the angle between my femur, which is my thigh, and my trunk, my body, right here. You can see this angle right here, it's greater than 90 degrees. So I'm, I'm kind of, my, my knees are kind of pulled up towards my chest or pushed up towards my chest from the seat pan and then the back of my the back of my seat is kind of pushing me forward and I'm, I'm kind of exaggerating it here but I'm kind of like this so you can see this angle even if I try to sit back where I've got my seat back won't allow me to come back and then my my legs are pushed up so this angle here is greater than 90 degrees that results in more flexion through the lumbar spine which results in more compression through the lumbar spine that puts more force through the disc. If you're doing this first thing in the morning, you already have more pressure in the disc because of the fluid that the disc has taken on during the night, which we've talked about in previous videos. So you want to avoid having your seat in a position like this. You want to get the angle between your thigh, between your femur and your trunk, less than 90 degrees and at 90 degrees at the very most. So to do that, you want to set your, there we go, you want to set your seat pan so the back part of it where your bottom is, is up as high as it'll go. So you can see bringing that bottom part up, that decreased the angle some between my femur and my trunk. So I'm already better, my back already feels better too, by the way. But that angle's better. To improve that even more, I need to put this, this back part of the seat back some. So you can see now, that's that's better. That's better. This angle between here and here, it's not it's not as much like this. It's reduced some. It's closer to 90 now, maybe a little less than 90. Now I've got this seat pan. I've got the back part up as far as it will go. Even better would be if this part. So say say my hand right here is the seat pan, and it's maybe parallel with the ground. Even better would be if this back part where my bottom is were even higher so my bottom's higher and then my femur would be lower that would actually decrease the angle between my femur and my trunk even more making the lower back be in a more neutral position resulting in less force through the discs less force through the lumbar spine this is about as good as i can get in this particular seat i could move the back part of the seat back even more but then i start getting to the point where i'm way back here now that's fine if that's how you like to ride. Um, I like to be a little, a little more upright. So another option, you can get a pillow, and you can put it underneath your bottom, so it, so it raises you up a little bit, so you're more here, opposed to falling back into that seat. Basically, the more you can decrease the angle between your femur and your trunk, the better, because that will place your lumbar spine in a more neutral position more neutral position means less compression through the discs. This makes a big difference for people that are in a car a lot of the time that have a longer commute to work that spend a lot of their day driving because if you're in that position for prolonged periods it's, it's really difficult to avoid that excessive force through your lumbar spine. So you need to position your seat in a way that allows your lumbar spine to not have constant compression, constant excessive force through the disc. So experiment with your seat, get it as flat as you can or even that back part where your bottom is up if, you're, if your car allows you to position the seat pan that way. Get the backrest back, reduce that angle between your femur and your trunk as much as you can, 90 degrees at the very most, preferably 70, 80 degrees. If you need to, put a pillow under your bottom so your bottom sits up a little higher and your thigh, your femur is down a little lower to reduce that angle. And this is really going to help if you have a longer commute, if you have increased back pain when you get to work after your commute. So start that today. Start that tomorrow morning when you drive to work. 
and this is going to be one of those things that's going to make a difference in your day. You're going to have less back pain throughout the day, and consistently doing this is going to allow the tissues in your lower back to heal. If you have any questions about how to set up your seat in your car, drop me a line below. If you have any other questions about lower back pain, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them here on the Crush Back Pain YouTube channel. If you need some specific programming help, you need more information on how to set up a program to beat lower back pain permanently, go over to crushbackpain.com and check out what we have over there.